Welcome to the Be Fantastic channel where you're going to get nothing but positive, life-affirming, great information. And uh, so without further ado, here I am with another dissertation. I want to wish a fantastic Friday to everyone. It is Friday, June 16th. <laughs> half of 2023 is gone. Were you kind that first half? So I've been doing a lot of reflecting because I thought I think the universe uh, threw me some curves lately. A lot of <laughs> a lot of disastrous things have happened, uh, which most people would uh, stress out about. And uh, I don't take life too serious, so I'm not too stressed about losing my money and my wallet and and everything else. But uh, life goes on, and you have to smile and enjoy the present because the past isn't of any concern, and the future may not happen. So today is the present. But I want to thank you for tuning in because um, there's about 3 million plus podcasts. While this isn't really a podcast, it's one guy telling his thoughts on the world, trying to give away free advice. You know, of these 3 million podcasts, they're, they're all doing it for money. I don't have anything to sell. I'm not asking for money. It's my gift to teach people about the three commitments to kindness, which solve all mankind's problems. So I want to thank you for uh, spending your time because that's all you have. It's all we have is time. And the present is the most important time of all. And, you know, if you've been listening to my uh, last three years of uh, talking to an inanimate object, this, this phone, there are one-take wonders. Uh, if this doesn't record, that's it for the day. That's no, there's no editing. There's no team. There's no writers. There's no camera person. It's me. Uh, talking to the world and expressing my thoughts because I, I'm a self-proclaimed um, philosopher. Been on the planet a lot, of, a lot of years, traveled around it, and I'm a self-proclaimed doctor, Doctor Fantastic. I'm not a doctor, but there's the saying from a uh, French philosopher Rene Descartes said, "I think, therefore I am." No, I'm not really a doctor, I, I, but I do have the prescription for a happier and longer life. That's why you know, endearingly people have, are calling me Dr. Fantastic. Now, I realized recently I'm not going to start introducing myself as, as that anymore because my real name is Monty Cook III. Great name. Uh, to me, it's the past, but uh, Americans especially uh, take offense to me calling myself Dr. Fantastic. It is what it is. Everyone has their opinion. I'm sure they don't say when they meet Dr. Dre, they don't say, what the hell is that? Anyway, it is what it is. So all we, uh, And I actually took notes for the first time because I've been watching a lot of these uh, podcasts. And there's, as I said, 3 million plus of them. But what I'm also noticing, not only are they all designed to make money and help you at the same time, which is great. Uh, well, I mean, there's cooking podcasts. There's podcasts on every subject. But I've been watching the um, spiritual ones, the meditational ones, the uh, advice ones. Because I've never listened to anyone's advice in my life. I felt I had to do it on my own. I love the challenge of doing things on my own. You know, um, that's why I've done so many things because I can't do the same thing all the time. That's probably why I'm not going to do my Dr. Fantastic show here on Ambergris Key Island in Belize anymore. Nine was enough. If something stops being fun, I stop doing it. Even if I'm making a lot of money, I don't do things to make money. And I, I encourage other people to do things for love, passion, and happiness. Because when you jump out of bed in the morning looking forward to your day, you do it well. When you do something well, you know, uh, you, uh, you have fun. When you, and you have fun, someone uh, will pay you for it. At any rate, something like that. There is a couple of things I wanted to say. Uh, Nikola Tesla, one of my favorite inventors of all time, probably one of the smartest guys that uh, probably ever lived. He said, and this really uh, coincides with all these people talking about consciousness and quantum mechanics and quantum entanglement and what have you. Um, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than on all the previous centuries of its existence. And that's happening today. People are studying uh, quantum mechanics, quantum entanglement. They're learning that we're, the universe is, we're all one. We are all one. And as I traveled around the world, I always knew that if I sat down with someone long enough, we would have a common uh, friend. 
and it's I proved it many, many times over. It's a small world. And that's why you gotta keep your nose clean. In all the trades I've worked in, in all the places I've been around the world, no one can say I was a bad guy. Actually, some people have called me a scammer. <laughs> I'm not asking for money, never have asked for money. And people say, What am I scamming you? I'm scamming you to be happy. Yes, so call me a scammer if you like. Um, so I did make a few little notes uh, on all this consciousness and everything. And they're all really saying the same thing I say. You know, I listened a couple months ago to uh, the Dalai Lama. He doesn't say anything different than what I've been saying. Did I read books to learn what I know? No. Did I watch movies to learn what I know? Yes. Did I travel around the world to learn what I know? Yes. And I really believe if you watch this show or you watch my dissertations, you, it'll put a smile on your face. And if you follow my three commitments to kindness, you will look better, you will feel better, you will live longer, you'll be more successful in business and in personal relationships, and you'll help make the world a better place. Three commitments to kindness that are changing people's lives. I keep it real simple. These, these, these great uh, doctors, I mean, so many doctors, Dr. Dispensa, great guy, Billy Carson, Stephen Greer, Jordan Peterson, the list goes on and on, um, and they have great, great things to say. They say it at a level that I think a lot of people can't understand, you know, so I keep it at the layman uh, level, because I'm a layman, uh, and keep it simple. In America, it's K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> um, I used to have four commitments, and I figured no people, nobody's going to remember four, so I kept it at three, be kind to yourself first most importantly, and the hardest, be kind to everyone else, and be kind to the planet. This stops all the wars. This stops pollution. I mean, I, anyway, it stops everything. It's really pretty amazing. So uh, today is a day, let's see, 1,167 since I left uh, California. I'm doing a lot more cooking episodes. The next week or so, I'm just going to reflect more, watch more podcasts, try to take in some more information. You know, I always said my memory is like a glass that's full to the brim. And when I, if I learn something new, something's going to drop off because I really do suffer from CRS. And I should stop saying that because I think therefore I am. So if I think I have a bad memory, I'm propagating it. I'm manifesting it. But I do manifest happiness, though. Um, I'm not concerned about yesterday. I'm not, not, not worried about tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy today. Whether it's just watching a movie, watching podcasts, making a little video, doing a cooking episode. I did one this morning, made a nice breakfast. And they're all saying the same thing, you know. Um, believe in yourself. Well, that's commitment number one. Love yourself. How can you expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself? Believe in yourself. Know that every turn you've made in life is correct. I know that every turn I've made in life is correct, or I wouldn't be sitting here today happy as a lark. With no worries. I'm not worried. I don't have a savings account. I don't have a retirement account. I don't have an income, but I'm not worried about it because you don't need a lot to be happy, you know? And I talk to a lot of people, and I see it. Uh, other people though, that I don't even talk to are saying they had all the money in the world, and they killed themselves. They have everything you could want, the mansion, the wife, the beautiful wife, the, the kids. Even my best friend he had it all. He had a, a, a big house in Hidden Hills, that's in California, had the nice fancy cars, had a, a I don't want to say beautiful wife, but she was okay, he, he, he loved her, he had beautiful kids, um, had a great job, had everything, and he killed himself. Humans, humans, you have to live in the present. Uh, now, Joe Dispenza, I'm trying to memorize what he says, it all comes from the thought. Again, I think, therefore I am. So he says a thought becomes a choice, becomes an action, becomes an emotion, something to that effect. And he also says, as I've been saying, thoughts can make you sick, it can make you well. If you think you're miserable, you're miserable. If you think you're going to be sick tomorrow, you're going to be sick tomorrow. If you think you're going to miss the plane, you probably will. You're manifesting your destiny by thinking. People overthink. People worry. Worrying killed my mother. Worrying will kill you, and I, I can attest to that. Oh, people, don't worry. So, um, oh, then there was something I heard, and I said, it was in a movie, and they said, reality 
The difference between reality and fantasy is perception. And that goes back to commitment number one, how you perceive yourself. Do you perceive yourself as beautiful, handsome? You should, no matter what you look like. Because no one else's opinion matters. No one else's opinion matters but yours. You have to live in your skin. You have to live in your brain. It doesn't, the superficial stuff that people try to keep up with the Joneses, they try to, you know, one-up everybody, the rat race, nah, that's not going to bring you happiness. Finding love will bring you happiness. Living on a, on a desert island or just an island could bring you happiness. You know, this island is a mini rat race. It's not the Los Angeles rat race or the Chicago or New York or Paris or, or um, Istanbul rat races that I've experienced. But it's, it's, a, it's a smaller scale of a rat race. People are just as um, greedy here as they are in the rat race. They're just as stupid here. Uh, they're just as kind here. And there's a lot of kind people out there. I don't, I don't want to bash anyone. Uh, and I love to meet kind people. I've got 6, 000, over 6,600 ambassadors of kindness that have listened to me, tell them about the three commandments, and they said they'll try to follow them. Not easy. Not easy at all. So I make these little videos uh, to try to, and again, if you've made it this far into this video, thank you so much. Hit like and subscribe. I guess liking is an algorithm. But again, this is not for money. I'm not asking you for money. I don't, I don't have a product to sell. I just want to give the gift of kindness to the world. Everyone else is out to make money. And as they should, they have to pay the bills. They have to pay the mortgage. They have to buy a new car. They have to support the wife. Uh, and it's all about money. Greed, greed is the worst thing in the world. And it drives some people to horrendous things. It drives them to war. It drives them to killing. It drives them to all sorts of horrendous things. I don't like to talk about negative things, and so I won't. Um, uh, here's another thing. Uh, they, they keep repeating what I always say. Uh, the more you know, the easier your life is. I've been saying that forever. Um, I don't know how that got to do with anything. But anyway, any rate, so um, then I've been watching. Just re if you watch something on television especially on YouTube, and you let it end, it automatically will put you something else in the same category. Just like when you're shopping on the Internet uh, for a baby basket, all of a sudden you'd be inundated with baby stuff because they're tr tracking you know, every, everything you do. Um, we are all one consciousness. There's nothing to fear in life. These are some of the little things I've been, people have been saying, but I've been saying it forever. But so I'm, I need to grow. I need to still learn. So that's why I'm watching these podcasts. And it's really funny, these podcasts, because everyone who has a podcast, I've been noticing, are on other people's podcasts. So they're like hop, skits, jumping around. Billy Carson has his own podcast, two or three of them, and he's on other people's podcasts all day long. And I noticed that some of them are years old, some of them are days old. It's so much information out there. And if I could learn a little bit more, I could be more helpful in this, my own podcast. But I think I know enough about human nature and a life, love, and the pursuit of happiness to be of sound mind. A lot of people are confused out there. A lot of people don't have someone smart in their life to talk to. Now, I'm street smart. I have a lot of common sense. I'm a MacGyver. If my life was a three or four movies, I would say I'm MacGyver because I can create things out of nothing because I'm, uh, my foster part parents, foster father, taught me the jack, to be a jack of all trades. So I'm a MacGyver. I'm also Forrest Gump because... I just go along in life, and I, I, it's all going to happen, and it all turns out well. Um, I just learned recently that I'm a fool, and very, very proud to say that I'm a fool. Learned the history of a fool in the tarot cards, and uh, they're pretty important people in life, fools, because they say what they mean, no matter the consequence. They take chances. They take risks. They're not uh, afraid of the future. I'm a fool. I love being a fool. I will always be a fool. Um, I make some other notes. Let me see here. Frequency. Oh, the metaphysical. I mean, my goodness. What's happening uh, in this world? They're learning so much about the metaphysical, about a consciousness. Um, oh, then just this morning I was watching about the um, afterlife. Uh, there's a guy named uh, Evan Alexander, a neurosurgeon. 
went into a coma, which is near-death experience, for seven days, came out of it and wrote a book called Proof of Heaven. Um, and uh, it was quite the great uh, thing to listen to this morning, to wake up. He was given a speech at the Theological Society. And what I noticed about that particular podcast, speech, whatever you want to call it, is that everyone was over 60 in that crowd. There was no young people. Uh, I watched an earlier podcast um, and when it's all about you know, um, living and loving, and they're using young people because young people are confused, and we're confused because we're programs. We come out as an empty computer when we're born, and we're programmed. If your parents aren't so bright, which most aren't, 99.9%, uh, and they fight, you're gonna, and they smoke, and they drink, and they do bad things, that's programming you into that niche. Um, my programming... Uh, my first seven years, I don't, I, I don't even know about my first seven years because I had three sets of parents in that, in that span of time. So I'm um, learning a lot about myself. I'm trying to learn more about myself. I'm going to learn about shadowing. Um, I probably should be hypnotized and go and pull all that crap that's sitting in there. But I ignore the past, and that makes me a happier person because it was a really rough, rough journey as a child. I don't have many memories of it probably because it was so rough. But but it made me who I am. So I wouldn't have it any 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 way different. You'll never meet anyone like me in your life because of what I've been through and just the way um, the route I, I've taken. <laughs> a very bizarre route. And I'm still on that route. Been uh, took a really major uh, change in my life when I decided because of COVID to travel the world and show people about kindness. That was quite a, a remarkable. Uh, turn. I always say you, every day you make a left turn or you make a right turn. You got to believe that that turn you made was correct because you didn't make the other one. So why would you think about it? That's thinking about the past, which is negative. And it, it's just bad energy. Throw away those things that, you, uh, that are, were negative and bad. Believe in yourself. Believe in the future. Believe it. Manifest your destiny. And I give a lot of people advice. I give people advice that would make them millionaires for a five-minute-a-day um, uh, energy. Put out five minutes a day. I've done this many, many times, and they will become millionaires. And do they do it? No. Because there's safety in failure. If you're on the top of the ladder and you're the top of the company, the fear is you're going to fall. And fear is just false expectations appearing real. So you're going to fall, and you're, nobody wants to fall. So it's better to stay down on the bottom. I had a friend who was a grip. That's a guy who uh, carries things for the movies. And he was a very good grip because he did it for many years. And because he was so good, they wanted to give him a promotion. And he said, no, no, I'm fine being a grip because he smoked a lot of pot and just was chill. And it was a great job because you get paid a lot of money and you don't have to work that hard. And, but he never wanted to do the promotion. He would have got off. You know, actually, um, Disney, the, the CEO of Disney, one of the biggest corporations on the planet, uh, Michael Eisner, was it? I think that's the name. He started in the mailroom. Did a good job in the mailroom. Mailroom manager. Then uh, this manager and that manager and this director and that director and made it all the way to the top of Disney. I don't believe he took any chances. He just graduated, did something well. You do something every day for, the, uh, for your life, you're going to do it very well. I... I could have been very successful in many, many, many careers. I was successful in a few, but they got, I got bored. So uh, nine shows on the, uh, the, uh, on the island here for the D Fantastic Show, and I'm bored with it. It's not a challenge anymore. It's not fun anymore. This is fun uh, because I never know what I'm going to say and because I'm a fool. I'm a fool. And uh, I'm trying to understand my foolishness. And uh, if you have any comments... I just I did years of this show without thinking that there was comments. Um, I don't know what comments I got. Um, hopefully there are positive comments, but I am going to take a look at comments now. So if you want to make a comment, how crazy I am, how maybe kind I am, as you might know, I'm putting these be kind signs around town here in Ambergris Key, um, and people are loving them. People are taking them home as souvenirs. People are putting them up in their hometowns. I'm hoping, my little dream right now, is that people around the world will make them and put them up or make them and sell them if they need money. I know I've got 
thousands of ambassadors in Africa that are always asking for money. I say, I can help you with good advice, but I can't help you with money because I have no money. You know, uh, I wish I uh, had the money to give away. Uh, when you're rich, you do give it away, and sometimes you have to give it away for tax reasons. Life is a really funny game. I call it the game of life. You don't have to lie, steal, or cheat to win at the game of life. And speaking of lies, stealing, and cheating, if you must lie, lie with the person you love. Lie next to the person you love. Don't lie to the next don't lie to the person you love. Lie next to the person you love. If you have to cheat, you know, if you have to steal, steal away from bad company. If you have to cheat, cheat death. So it is okay to lie, steal, and cheat if you do it in that direction. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with too much stuff. Um, I'm going to start doing more of these. Um, I think they're positive. I won't talk about the news. I won't talk about negativity. Um, well, I'll try not to. Again, it's try to be kind to yourself. Try to do a good show without any help whatsoever, without any directors or any script writers or any cameramen or any soundmen or any makeup. I'm a one-man band. I'm not asking for money. I just want to share my life with you and because a lot of people can't travel to Belize or travel to Egypt or, or Turkey or um, the countries I've been into, the states I've been to, the cities, and amazing places. And they're all here on Be Fantastic uh, um, YouTube channel. They're categorized on Be Fantastic Today. Your name, if you're an ambassador of kindness, is on worldkindnesslist.com. If you're an amb uh, ambassador in here in Belize or wanting to visit Belize, you get discounts on many, many services here. Restaurants, bars, cart rentals. Um, pedicure, manicure, dog grooming, all kind of fun things. These are ambassadors thanking for other, thanking other ambassadors for being an ambassador and being kind. Be kind. Those two words are the most important words other than I am because first you have to believe in yourself, love yourself to be kind. I don't think rotten murderers are very kind. So love yourself. And people will love you and then you can go to love others and be kind and have a fantastic life because we're here a very, very short time. Again, half the year is gone in 2023. Oh, my goodness. Half the year is gone. Can you believe that? And uh, if you're on the island of Ambergris Key, hopefully you're having a fantastic time. Wherever you are, have a fantastic time. However much money you have, have a fantastic time. It doesn't take a lot of money to have fun. It really doesn't. Be kind. How many times do I have to say that? Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll do one this every day. I don't know. We'll see.